What's up, Flashes? I'm Hazel EJ. And I'm Lovejoy Alley. Your friendly social news for November 16th starts now. This past week, SEC was invited to watch a seminar given by Professor Satoris from Ball State University to tell all about the fashion textiles department. At SC, students have to take a graduation pathway, and Professor Satoris showed all the opportunities that are available after high school, full of large collections, excellent professors, numerous fabrics, and a large private campus full of resources. If any of these things interest you, make sure to add fashion textiles when planning your schedule for the 2024-2025 school year. Are you passionate about making a difference in people's lives? Ever considering a rewarding career in mental health? Join us in a career chat in becoming a social worker specializing in mental health. Discover the impactful role you play in supporting individuals facing mental health challenges. Hear first-hand experiences, gain insight from seasoned professionals, and explore the fulfilling path of making an impact. Don't just find a job, find your calling. Tune in November 21st at 9 a.m., either using the QR code posted below or on the counseling website. Because every conversation can be a lifeline. How will you help out today? Flash of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Team, consisting of Devin Welty, Justin Wilson Jr., Ian Parks, Jacob Webb, and Dennis Elin beat St. Joseph High School team during last night's matchup. Dive Book Club is happy to announce our final book for this semester, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green on December 1st. Comes our discussion about the many important topics of the text, including selfhood, identity, and living with mental illness. Our meeting will held, be held in the library during CCR time. Make sure you sign up under Ms. Schaefer if you have any questions or need a copy of the text. Stop by room 427 as we have available copies. We hope to see you on December 1st during CCR time. Flash's BPA is having its annual online spirit sale. These items are perfect Christmas gifts for the whole family. Make sure you get yours now by scanning the QR code. This amazing sale won't last long. The sale ends November 19th, so hurry up and get it while you can. There will be a call-out meeting for girls track and field on November 20th, right after school at 2.30 in the freshman cafeteria. The Latino Student Union will meet tomorrow during CCR time in room 106. Gardening Club will have their next meeting tomorrow during CCR in room 508. Attention Japanese club members, our meeting is going to be in room 427 in Ms. Schaefer's room this week. Please make sure you come right to the room. Just a reminder that you can join Japanese club at any point throughout the school year. Again, this is after school from 2.15 to 3.10 in Ms. Schaefer rooms. We hope to see you there. The FC Pickleball Club will meet tomorrow during CCR time. The location will depend on the weather, so be sure to RSVP to Parent Square, sent out by Ms. Keller. Paddles up! The History Club will be meeting in Mr. Eater's room, room 210 after school today until 3 p.m. Featuring a special presentation by Sahib Singh and about the inaccuracies of war movies and information about their upcoming PowerPoint night. All are welcome to join. Now will everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We're so happy that Franklin Central High School is celebrating Native American Heritage Month, which is the entire month of November. All right, so what I learned so far was like, during the wars, they lost a lot of land, had to move up north, get like, uh, like regenerate their health, and get back war ready. So yeah, that's what I learned so far. Uh, something I learned about Native American Heritage Month is that they used code words in order to help the army and their wars that I didn't know about, you know? So I think that's a really interesting topic. And looking at these maps of Indiana, so like when Indiana became a state in 1816, you can see it was very much, um, almost the majority of the state, three-fourths of the state was, you know, native land or designated native land. And then by the time 
you know, 1830 rolled around, um, you can see how much of the state now, it's only like a third of the state was native land. We still had the Potawatomi, we still had some Miami, Delaware, and Kickapoo um, in Indiana. And now, of course, we know there's no um, indigenous tribes in Indiana. Don't forget that the History Club will be meeting today after school until 3 p.m. Once stay up to date on all things FC Media, be sure to follow the FC TV crew on Insta and Twitter at FC Media 317. That's all we have for today. Tune in tomorrow for more FC TV news and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.